An oil market outlook ahead of IP week in London next week, which is probably one of the biggest annual gatherings of the oil and gas and now renewables industry in the world uh, that takes place in London towards the end of February every year. And one of the things I'm thinking about this day, this few days before IP week is that the mood is going to be a lot more positive because we've seen oil prices climb up to $67 a barrel having tested the lows of $50 in the fourth quarter we're now seeing a clear upward trend line that could see 70 reached not too far off what's driving that and is it sustainable is ultimately the question and it does seem that the OPEC cuts are having an impact Saudi Arabia in particular, the world's largest oil exporter, is really constraining supply out of choice but also out of refinery maintenance. Uh, one of its biggest refineries in Yambu will be taken offline and with that obviously a curtailing in production. Uh, we're also seeing a, 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 a relatively healthy demand sustained through Asia through China, or through China in particular, but also in the US. And, and, and the Armageddon that was appearing in the fourth quarter has clearly receded uh, as the US Fed has eased back from raising interest rates. And there's generally a more optimistic economic outlook around the world. Still no shortage of things to be concerned about, but as people gather in London for IP Week, I think they're going to be relatively calm about some of the major challenges in the world. Probably most significant will be Brexit because we're going to be in London. But ultimately Brexit, at least at the moment, doesn't seem like a tsunami event that the global economy should be concerned about. Certainly locally within Britain, within Ireland, within Europe, it's going to be destabilizing if it ends up being a hard Brexit. But it shouldn't end up being a, a global event where you know, global growth is, is thrown off track. So for oil demand, oil prices, we should see a sustained uh, progression. Also, the big, big issue of Venezuela has been supportive of oil prices in recent weeks. Uh, the, the, that uh, geo, uh, political crisis with so-called two presidents is, is very far from being resolved. And so with that, the constraint on what is still the world's largest oil reserves held by uh, Venezuela and currently their industry is in near collapse mode and so that's a constraint on supply coming out of Venezuela which of course is putting a tightness into the market and supporting oil prices back up towards the $70 a barrel. So IP week, uh, here we go, uh, pace yourself and it should be quite interesting to hear what all of the world traders and those involved in the, in the business of moving and marketing and refining and trading oil have to say.